Hello, I'm Gina Cervetti of the University of Michigan, discussing an insights essay titled Five Decades of Comprehension Research Informing the Future. In this essay, I describe insights from a symposium held in honor of P. David Pearson upon his retirement from the University of California at Berkeley. The symposium included presentations from 18 colleagues focused on David's contributions to knowledge about reading comprehension. Because of David's influence, and the longevity of his career, the symposium offered opportunities to reflect on the history and future of reading comprehension research. In particular, presenters talked about how David's work at the Center for the Study of Reading, the Center for the Improvement of Early Reading Achievement, and beyond added to our knowledge about how readers use knowledge and strategies to comprehend text, and how instruction in cognitive and metacognitive strategies can strengthen comprehension. Through this work, David and colleagues challenged simplistic notions of reading skill as they augmented our knowledge about comprehension instruction and provided models for richer and more authentic assessments of reading comprehension. Presenters at the symposium also pointed to areas for future work, building upon David's contributions. When David began his career in the late 1960s, reading comprehension was being assessed in classrooms but not taught. Fifty years later, few would question the value of teaching students to comprehend, but many challenges remain. In particular, how we can reconsider the sometimes passive nature of comprehension instruction and link comprehension to students' roles as agents and actors. How we can embrace more complex views of readers, texts, and contexts as we consider disciplinarity, diversity, complex comprehension tasks, and multiple text comprehension, and as we find new ways to prepare readers to engage with complex ideas and texts in the interests of meaningful activity, and how we can support teachers in an ocean of reforms as we envision ways to foreground teachers' roles in their own learning and in instructional reform efforts. Rather than developing a book based on the event, the Feshrift Planning Committee has created a living multimedia document, a web Feshrift. There you can find photos and videos from the retirement celebration and symposium. You can also find articles that served as the touchstones for the symposium presentations and other works related to the conference themes. You can also participate, adding your own writing or contributing memories and photos. Please consider this an open invitation to engage with this ever-evolving tribute. The web address is feshrift.pdavidpearson.org backslash webfeshrift. Thank you.